What are these lowlights trying to steal? Report says vibranium. Whatever happened to stealing money? Where you been? Science is the new currency. Albert Einstein once said, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. Well, it's been two weeks ago yesterday that I was bitten by a radioactive spider, so I'm still figuring that out. Today, however, is what I live for. Making my debut and showing everyone what I'm capable of. From this moment on, the world will know me as... Spider-Man! Come on, man! You're ruining my moment! Chew! Chew! Oh, great! I'm supposed to stick to walls, not... Get away from my pigeon coop! Oh, you don't understand. I'm you not stealing him. He's stuck to me. Great pigeon. time to learn how to release Spidey. The thing I know about webbing. Or not. Seems 200 psi isn't enough to launch webbing properly. Today isn't the best day to do this. What do I do, Uncle Ben? What do I do, Uncle Ben? Flash Thompson's mom wants me to tutor him in science, but he's always bullying me. I know it's the right thing to do, but man, it would be nice to see him squirm just a little. Hmm. Peter, everybody has a gift. Sometimes, when a person can't figure out what that gift is, Take it out on other people. Does that make sense? Not really. <laughs> Too bad. Because I thought my gift was making sense of things. Goodness knows it isn't science. I think all it needs is a little iron oxide. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know, Pete, I don't know as much about science as you do. But there's always been one formula that worked for me in any situation. With great power comes great responsibility. That's not a real thing. You just made that up. What? Sure it is. Isn't that a thing? I know the P is. Yeah, it's phosphorus. And the only thing G stands for is goofy. Like I said, real or not, it's always worked for me. I'll tell Mrs. Thompson I can start tutoring Flash next week. You're right, Uncle Ben. With great power comes great responsibility. I need to do this. 250 PSI should do the trick. Oh no, you don't! Alright. See if I got this pressure right! It's working! It's working! Oh, overheating! Uh oh, if my calculations are correct, at this speed, I've got 15 seconds to get everyone in a two block radius out of danger. That includes the old lady on the corner, the mother and kid crossing the street, and the skateboarders heading to the. Wait! That's it! This car belongs in the HOV lane! We're hoodlum operated vehicles! Am I right? I mean left! Ah! Coming through! Better. It's quite a scream you got there. 
Better think of auditioning for... So you know how to scream? Do what you can. It'll be your last laugh. What? I'm sorry, I can't hear well with these things on. You said you're a fan and you want my autograph? Come here. Easy, fella. My ears are starting to pop. I'm not as interested in popping as I am in dropping. Let go of me, you fool. I did this with a vision friend of yours earlier. Oh, come on. I gotta put a stop to this before he drags me through every building in Manhattan. 300 PSI, don't let me down now. wasn't for you. It's either stop me or save them, hero. <laughs> Your first villain and you let him escape. I'm running out of webs, but maybe I should... Uh, hey, webhead. It's Spider-Man, actually. Great. How are we supposed to get these guys out of your web ball? Oh, it dissolves in an hour. I think. Uh, this is far enough. But Horizon High isn't for a few more blocks, sir. It may be a new school, Bernie, but it's the same old routine. You know I like to walk these last few blocks with my pal Pete. Uh, ah, oh, Sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. Now, can't you just say brain freeze like everyone else? Uh, but that wouldn't be accurate. One theory is, when the brain senses cold, it moves the blood through the cerebral artery to regulate the temperature. So technically, you should be saying, heat blast. <laughs> Nerd. See, you're the one who should be going to Horizon High. In, in fact, why don't you apply? You'd be a slam dunk. I don't know. Aunt May and I are barely scraping by now that Uncle Ben is gone. I can't ask any more from her. Smoothies are on me. That's not what I meant. I'm glad we still do this, Harry. I miss you not being at school. Yeah, well, you're gonna see me a lot sooner than you think. A slot has opened up at Horizon High, so Max has given a recruitment presentation at Midtown today. That's today? Max Modell is coming to school today? How do I look? Pretty rattled for a guy who's not interested in applying. No, I just, I mean, it's Max Modell. He's my idol. I know everything about him. I even volunteered to come in early and help set up on the day. Oh, no, I volunteered to come in early and help set up today! Liz Allen is gonna kill me! Same old Parker. Okay, I just need to reprogram the temperature threshold. Parker! You know you missed it. I know. I'm sorry, Liz, but once I missed it, I figured I'd just catch up on some schoolwork. You're always in the wrong place at the wrong time, Parker. Luckily, Randy was here to help. Yeah, more like I was ordered to help. Thanks, Randy. What temperature do you think a viscous liquid needs to reach before it achieves its maximum density? Got me. You're the egghead, remember? I'm just a guy doing a story on Max Modell for the school's website. How awesome is it that there's a school specifically for geniuses and that they're coming here for recruits? <laughs> it can't be that good if that snob Harry Osborne got in. As far as I can tell, Horizon High is on par with a 4-H club. Exactly. If the 4-H's are hardworking heroes who help. Hmm. One of your H's is a W, Parker. Hey, I'm a science geek, not a spelling geek. Well, if Horizon High is legit, then Alistair Smythe is sure to be invited in next. You're too good for them, son. Max Modell is an overrated lab assistant. I knew him back in the day, and he's a fraud. Whatever you say, Mr. Smythe. Ooh, it's nine o'clock. We should be starting. Welcome, students of Midtown High. It isn't often a scientist gets called a genius within his lifetime. Can we call him a giant doofus? But when he creates a private school for young minds looking to pursue their dreams, we also get to call him a role model. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Max Modell from Horizon High! <laughs> Max Modell! Good morning, everyone. You know, I could spend a lot of time talking about the cool things we're doing over at Horizon High. 
What? Like I said, I could talk about them. But I'd rather show you with our new hologram prototype. Created by the fertile minds at Horizon High. Where I'm excited to say, we have one last slot that needs to be filled this semester. Well, it's not that simple. You see, in order to be a student at Horizon, you have to have a certain kind of intellect. An intellect that can solve an equation like this, for example. Wow, that equation seems to explain how moisture interacts with vibration. An intellect like Anya Corazon or Miles Morales. Students at Horizon who specialize in elemental physics. That's your cue. Go! Osborne. Huh? Oh, Mr. Smythe. Anya what do you need? Miles are not that contraption is making an odd humming noise. Is it supposed to do that? It looks fine. Don't be so smug. You're not the... And in the area of chemistry, your very own Harry Osborne. I gotta go. Keep talking, Modell. I'm gonna bring you and your whole school down. Thanks, Max. At Horizon High, kids are doing things they could have only dreamed of before. Like Anya and her vibranium reactor. Anya? Once, vibranium could only be found in the nation of Wakanda. But with my vibranium reactor, there will be enough vibranium- Oh no! spider sense going nuts! Bring in a new- <laughs> Unfortunately, in this chaos, no one will notice me switch to... Spider-Man! Somehow that vibranium is working in reverse. Instead of absorbing vibrations, it's producing them! Let's hope I got this web shooter working right! Huh? Yes. Oh, it's true, Parker. You are always in the wrong place at the wrong time! Who's that guy? Whoa. The reactor just keeps going. I gotta cut the power. Detach the impulse valve, root the discharge. There, that ought to stop ya. Try and avoid barbecued spiders, shall we? Whew. Luckily, I still have my Parker clothes. I shut the reactor off, but the fire department is better equipped to deal with these intense flames. Great, no service. But someone needs to do something. And that someone is me. Well, hello, Max's equation. That gives me an idea. Piggyback on that vibranium output, absorb some of this condensation and redirect it. Purpose these wires in. Nice. All my work. What did you do? Uh, sorry. Why couldn't you just let that beetle kid handle it? I uh think he's Spider Man. Mm. Hey, don't let it bother you, pal. The bad news is, she'll hate you for life. But the good news is, you don't go to her school. And who is this young man I have to thank for putting out the fire? This is Peter Parker, the one I've been telling you about. Well, Peter, I'm impressed. Not only did you solve my equation, but you also put it to practical use. Indoor storm clouds are something I've been toying with, and you're the only one who figured it out. Mr. Modell, <sighs> look, I solved it too. Sorry, young man. That looks more like a Rorschach test than an answer. Come with me, Peter. Huh? <laughs> Parker! Don't worry, son. This will all get fixed. I appreciate what you did here today, Peter. And it's with great pleasure that I'd like to offer you the remaining slot at Horizon. Uh, are you kidding me? Horizon High should be shut down. What you did here today was reckless. 
My students know exactly what they're doing, Spencer. And if I had to guess, I'd say some tampering occurred on this campus. Don't be foolish. You want to point fingers, point them at your own people. I know for a fact that Harry Osborn was tinkering around with the reactor before the presentation. What? That can't be. And the Board of Education states that any student accused of sabotage shall be suspended indefinitely, pending an investigation. You're a devious person, Spencer. But you're right. Harry, I hate to say it, but pending a brief investigation, I'm afraid you'll have to be suspended. What? You can't do that. I don't know what he's showing you, but oh, I- Oh, station! The perfect time for the vulture to pick through the remains! Oh, yes! <laughs> I'll go get help! More like I'll find my costume so I can change back to- Right. Mental note, make costume out of flame-resistant material next time. Let go of me, Adrian! Adrian Toombs was a pathetic employee of yours, Modell. Fired with insufficient cause, I am the Vulture! Adrian, you were fired for stealing equipment! That equipment was mine! Everything you worked on under my employ belongs to Horizon. Yes, but my anti-gravity vulture suit is all me. And it needs vibranium to work, so... You again! I knew red and blue would be memorable! I've got you! Yes, but I've got you! I see how you like being stabbed in the back like Modell did to me. Max, no! Let go! Can't let my first day turn out to be Max's last! Thanks, Flying Squirrel. Well, better than a beetle. At least you're safe. Uh, not yet we're not. The Vulture is headed back to the school. It's the Vibranium he wants. Then hang on! Are you sure you know how to fly this thing? Nope! Yeah. You! I told you I had everything under control. Then why am I not in possession of the Vibranium? I needed to take care of some personal business first. Ah! Your trivial grudges are of no concern to me! Dad, are you okay? I'm gonna make the Vulture pay for this! You'll do no such thing. Now that I have the Vibranium, it'll take someone much stronger than you to take me down. You talking about me? Huh? Oh. No bother. I shall destroy you all just the same. Bullseye! Or Vulture's Eye! Oh, nice work, bird catchers. You mind sticking around to answer a few questions? To be honest, I've got my own questions that need answering. I just don't see how I can go to Horizon High, Aunt May. Peter, I thought we settled this. This is exactly what your Uncle Ben would have wanted, and we're not going to let him down. But how are we going to afford it? I'll get another job if I have to. Are they hiring at the cafe here? <laughs> Very funny. I guess it just feels weird going there without Harry. What's he gonna say now that he's been suspended? He's gonna say the suspension is temporary. And you deserve to be at that school as much as I do. Harry! You okay? What did your dad say? Relax. He said if the smartest school wouldn't have me, he'd create an even smarter one. Whatever that means. Hi, Mrs. Parker. What are you doing here? Well, I was so determined to see Peter go to Horizon High, I told him I'd walk him to school myself. Well, I can take it from here if you want. Thanks. Have a great day, you two. Got the first day jitters? Of course I do. It's my first day in a new environment, so naturally my hands are processing the incoming sensory signal sent from my- Okay, okay, I get it. It was a yes or no question. You're gonna fit in just fine. 
How are you feeling? Uh, confused? I mean, I know those Smythes aren't fans of mine, but this seems too devious even for them. Plus, that spider person showing up and destroying the reactor can't be just a coincidence. Now, I think that guy had a hand in this somehow, and I intend to prove it. Oh, I don't know about that. I think he was just trying to... Wait, you knew he was a spider? Yeah, what did you think he was? <laughs> Nothing. I can always count on you, Harry. See you later. Yeah. Uh, Pete? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I seem to be going the wrong way. No, Pete. But once you're going the right way, learn from yesterday, live for today. Guess Einstein was right. Because even though I made some mistakes on my first day as a superhero, it still led me here. Yeah. And with the new school as awesome as this to go to, tomorrow can only get better. I hope. Peter Parker, you finally made it. Hi, Mr. Modell. Please, call me Max. Welcome to Horizon High. Wow. My Uncle Ben said everyone had a gift. Maybe I've finally found mine.